hey loves welcome back to my channel for today's video is another hair review and i would like to thank harris market for sponsoring this video Alright y'all, so since this is a 4x4 closure wig unit, I actually wanted to make this glueless, but I also wanted it to have that, basically that frontal effect. So what I did do is I made sure that I do everything on the mannequin before I actually, you know, transfer it to my head. I actually prefer this because you get a better view of uh, where you put the hair and how you laid and everything like that. So I would suggest if you are a beginner for you to just do all the customization on your unit and stuff. And if you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial on how I, you know, pluck my wigs or, or how I just, I don't know, like do my baby hairs and stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like that. But like I said, all of this customization I'm doing on the on the mannequin and then when I'm finished, I'm going to transfer it to my head. So it can be easier for me to, you know, just plop it on my head and go. Because if you guys continue watching, you guys will see like literally the wig took me like less than two minutes to put on. Because that's how quick it was after I did all the customization on the on the mannequin head. All right, y'all, so the first thing that I am gonna do is I am going to put some foundation on the lace just so it can match better because I'm not gonna glue this down. I want this to be like a glue this week. So I am gonna be using the Ruby Kisses Face face Creator Bonded Tint. I don't know, it's a, it's just this, this. I'm not sure it is, but you can get it from like the beauty supply store and stuff like that. So. I'm just gonna put it on the lace first before I actually cut it. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference, but I can see it. And if I even need any bit more, I will just, you know, put some while the wig is on my head. Now, um, if I didn't tell you guys, this is a 24 inch. I'm not sure what texture this is, but if I do find out, I'll put that in the description bar. It's a 24 inch four by four wig. And I'm not sure what density this is either. I think it's like 150 to 180% density. So, um, and the curl pattern is really nice. I actually don't wanna even put too much water in it because I kind of like that, the the fullness that it has once it's been like, you know, combed out. So what I'm gonna do is I want to cut off the lace and I'm gonna do that first before I even put it on and as you guys can see like I already have my baby here it's laid so it's it's gonna be hard for me to explain the way how I do this but first I'm gonna cut off the two little um the two little sections on the side okay so after I do that now I'm actually gonna go underneath the baby hairs because like I kind of wanted this to be um I kind of wanted to do everything on the mannequin head as you guys can see from like the video so that's what we're gonna do now 
I'm not sure if you guys can see. I have to be really careful because I want it to come perfectly. And now what I am gonna do, since it does have two um, adjustable band, bands inside, I'm gonna take it out and actually connect them together. So after I take them out, the thing, I'm actually gonna connect them like this. And I like this because it makes it a little bit more tighter and it doesn't like pop off when I put it on my head. Now for my hair, literally, all I'm gonna do is just comb everything back. Try to take out my baby hairs out the way. I'm gonna leave the sideburns mainly because this is a four by four closure. So if I wanna like, you know, wrap my hair in the, in like, you know, the back, it will at least I have my, my sideburns. Okay, so. Hold up, y'all. I had to, you know, pause and freeze it real quick. Do y'all see how this just blend into my skin with no cap or anything? Just wow. Y'all, yeah, y'all see how the lace literally just plopped on my head so fucking perfectly? This is why I like doing my wigs, like, you know, I like doing my wigs off the, do everything that I need off the mannequin head because literally now, when I'm done, all I have to do is to um pop this wig on and go. Yo, I really love this wig. And I really love this curl pattern. Like, this curl pattern is so freaking beautiful. I'm debating if I want to put some water in this. Because I actually like the big fluffy look that it's given. But I'm going to just put a little bit. Just to tame some of the, you know, flyaways and stuff. And comb. I think I like it even better when it's wet. I'm gonna do a more in-depth curly routine for you guys, if you guys are interested in that. And yeah, I love the way that I customize my wigs. Like, the way I customize it, and I, I always make sure that even if it's a closure, even if it's a four by four closure, I'm still able to make it look like, you know, have that frontal effect, which is what's really popular right now. And that's what a lot of girls have been doing and stuff like that. I really do recommend this wig, especially if like, this is like a beginner. If you're like a beginner and you're not, you don't know much about lace yet, like this will be perfect and it's still affordable. So you won't be spending hella money. You won't be sp spending hella money for you testing it out. Y'all, this is so freaking bomb. Y'all can't tell me I ain't laid this hair. put a little bit of a little bit of wrapping foam this is how it looks like this is the one I use but you can use any type of wrapping foam but I'm gonna use this one and I'm actually just gonna put it I'm not really gonna necessarily put it on the hair but this is mainly to tame the little flyaways and then boom Okay, so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change a little bit and then I'm gonna be back and then show you guys the final um, look of this hair. All right, you guys, so I'm back and basically all I did was, clearly I changed my clothes, but I did add a little concealer in the part just so it can um, pop out a little bit and I just used any regular um, concealer. When I say guys, this wig was so easy to put on and this wig looks freaking beautiful. This has to be one of my favorite um, wigs. Like, and this is gonna be a unit that I can like pop on and off because you guys, mind you, 
I can literally lift it up off my head. So like this is the perfect like glueless unit um everyday unit starter unit and stuff like that like i said if you're not used to like wearing wigs all the time i would highly suggest you get a unit like this because like like i said it's a perfect starter unit but um this was a 24 inch four by four closure i will tell you guys what um text yeah what texture this is all i know is i really love this texture like this texture is freaking beautiful thank you Thank you Human Hair Market or Hair Market for sponsoring this video. You guys can find them on Instagram, which I'll probably put somewhere right here or I'll put them in the description bar down below, which is Human Hairs Market. Um, thank you for sponsoring this video. And I really, really do love this wig. Um, it does shed a little bit, but that's, it's all hair, hair, all hair sheds, like I keep telling you guys. So that's nothing, it's nothing too serious. Like it only like, a few strands here and there so that's nothing and the lace was really nice especially since all the laces nowadays has been really bad this lace is really good um it was a little bit i think it's like a light light to medium brown but that was perfect for me because of my skin um skin complexion and stuff like that so overall i really do love this unit i'll leave all their information in the description bar down below if you guys want to check them out it's almost the holiday if you're trying to get cute and stuff like that and i'm pretty sure that they're having sales and stuff like that so make sure you guys go check them out thank you for watching this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next vlog vlogmas video bye